First, let me take a moment to introduce myself. Dave Treadwell. I've worked at Microsoft for almost 25 years. During that whole time, I've always been involved in our developer technologies, our platform, our operating systems. I started in the Windows NT group, in the networking team. And I want to tell you a story that I've actually never told publicly before about one of my early projects. My manager at the time, a fellow named Dave Thompson, assigned me to write the Windows Sockets infrastructure for NT. And when he gave me this assignment, he gave me one criteria. He said, Dave, whatever you do, don't create a driver. And the reason was totally legitimate. Drivers are complicated. They use more system resources. If you have a bug, they can crash the system. It's tough to get a driver right. So I went off and I worked to design this thing. And a couple weeks later, I'd, I'd kind of figured it out. But I'd concluded that, you guessed it, I, I actually needed a driver. And we had a, a design review meeting with myself and my boss, Dave, and several other senior engineers. And we went over my proposed design for this. And the reason I needed a driver was that I wanted socket handles to be native system handles. And the only way to achieve that at the time was with a driver. So we had this meeting two hours long. We're trying to find some other way to get socket handles as native handles without a driver. But the conclusion of the meeting at the end of it was, yes, in fact, we really do need a driver. I'll never forget this. Dave, my boss, he pounded his fist on the table. And he said, gosh darn it, another freaking driver. Maybe not exactly those words, but that was, the, <laughs> that was the tone of it. And I looked at him and I said, well, that's, that's cool. That's what I'm going to call it. Because it turns out that at that time in our build system, you couldn't have a DLL and a driver with the same name. We needed winsock.dll for the DLL, and I couldn't use that for the driver. So a couple days later, I, I checked in the beginnings of this new driver. And Dave came by my office and he said, hey, what's this AFD thing you just checked in? And I told him, well, remember, that's the, the sockets driver. We talked about this. We need a driver for handles and all that. He said, oh, yeah, that's right. But why did you call it AFD? I said, well, Dave, you named it. Remember, it's, it's another freaking driver. <laughs> and he, he kind of laughed. And he said, well, that's, that's cute. But you actually need a real name for this thing. And so I thought about it. And I came back and I said, Dave, I got it. Remember what the driver does. It provides additional functionality for what we need for sockets. So we're going to call it the ancillary function driver. <laughs> and he said, he laughed too, and he said, that's good, you can go with that. So to this day, on every single version of Windows, there's a file called afd.sys that is the driver for the Winsock functionality. It's there. Check it out. In Windows, System32 drivers, every Windows machine has that file. And now you know how it was named. <laughs> <laughs>